Good question. Um, the list of things we don't want is very minimal compared to what we do want. Um, the, some of the exceptions that we do not accept are pianos and organs. Um, we tend to refer those to some local daycares, churches, somebody that can use them. Um, vanity tops, the mar cultured marble vanity tops without the matching cabinets. And that simply is something that we've just found doesn't sell typically because you're going to have to have a matching cabinet. And if you don't, then you're going to have to build one. And the likelihood of you going out and building one is probably slim to none. Um, plus, we obviously can't recycle it. We have to take it to the landfill. Um, computer equipment and office equipment, printers, scanners, computers, those typically are going to be so outdated by the time they get to us that they're of no use. Now, we actually have a gentleman, and he probably comes to see you, but um, non-working electronics, we actually, we typically don't want, <laughs> um, but we run into them, and then we have a guy that comes and picks them up, he grabs them out, and... Um, goes and sees Tannenbaum. Um, let's see what else. Um, children items like baby beds, that kind of anything that could be in a recall, we don't want simply because we can't have the liability of a recall. Um, that is pretty much what we don't accept. Um, well, we actually don't want single pane windows typically. If they're storm windows, it's okay because they're still useful. But the single pane windows are not going to meet code requirements. Old electrical items are not going to meet code requirements. Um, so basically, what we do take is anything that's still in good usable condition. And like I say, that's from this, the clothes. We're doing clothes now. We didn't used to do clothes. Um, we are doing clothes now, knickknacks, decor, all the girly stuff. We want all that stuff. Um, it's funny when the couples come in, the girls just kind of go to one area and the guys go to the building stuff, you know, you just kind of separate. Um, and then furniture is, furniture is the hardest thing to use discretion on as far as condition, whether it's going to be saleable condition or not. Um, and then like say anything that goes to build or remodel a house from the fixtures, I mean toilet sinks, doors, windows, trim cabinets, carpet, um, tile, linoleum, anything. If, it, if you pull it up, if you've remodeled an apartment complex, <laughs> um, landlords love us because they can come, if it's still in good, good enough condition to go in somebody's house, still useful, they can bring it in, get a tax deductible receipt, and then they may be able to find, rather than go to Lowe's or Home Depot and pay the big bucks for new tile or new laminate or new carpet or a new sink or whatever um we're going to save you a ton of money i mean we really are so if you haven't been to the restore i would highly recommend it because the people that have been i think can vouch that you're going to save a lot of money 